Hey everybody. In this video, I will briefly discuss single cell RNA sequencing and the 10X genomics platform. This is basically going to be an introduction to the work that you're going to be doing on the first day of the single cell sequencing uh, portion of the short read workshop. Now, single cell RNA sequencing is a method for determining the RNA expression profile of individual cells in a given cell population. Uh, this can be very useful for answering a number of biological questions. Uh, for example, single cell RNA-seq um, is commonly used to classify cell types in a mixed population of cells and can uncover rare or previously uncategorized cell types uh, because that signal would have been overwhelmed in a heterogeneous cell population. Uh, and in recent years, as many people know, uh, this has more or less become the gold standard uh, approach for determining different cell types in a heterogeneous population of cells over other methods uh, like analyzing uh, cell surface markers, marker proteins. Now, as part of Project A, we're going to be analyzing a single cell RNA sequencing data set from 2021 from L. Hardin and S. Webb. Uh, in this study, the authors uh, use single cell RNA sequencing to categorize uh, the blood cell populations in both typical and Down syndrome fetal bone marrow. And, um, in the study, they were able to identify a number of lesser known blood progenitor cell intermediates um, and actually showed a distinct disruption in the erythroid and myeloid cell lineages in the Down syndrome bone marrow. Now, this uh, these findings are consistent with the higher frequency of blood, mo blood malignancies uh, that we see in children with Down syndrome. Now, if you're going to perform a single cell RNA sequencing experiment, uh, you're probably going to be using 10X, the 10X Genomics platform, uh, which has become basically the most well-known biotech company in the single cell RNA sequencing field. They use a microfluidics droplet method, uh, which essentially isolates individual cells um, with a barcoded bead in a droplet. Um, in the end, what this gives you is, R is an RNA molecule that has a specific barcode um, and a unique molecular identifier or a UMI. Um, <clears throat> these uh, RNA molecules can then be assigned to individual cells uh, during the analysis portion. Now, uh, 10X Genomics offers a set of analysis pipelines called Cell Ranger. Um, and we will be using uh, the Cell Ranger count uh, software during day seven of the workshop, which essentially inputs a raw FASTQ file and performs alignment, filtering, barcode counting, and UMI counting. Uh, it outputs a count matrix that we can then analyze with the R program Surat. Uh, also, in case you're interested, Cell Ranger will output a loop file, which can be viewed on um, a loop browser, which is a desktop application that you can download from Cell Ranger or from a uh, TEDx Genomics. Uh, now, it should be noted that generally, uh, raw single cell RNA sequencing data is very large and it can take a long time for Cell Ranger count to actually run. Uh, because of our limited time and AWS resources, uh, you'll be running Cell Ranger count on a modified data set so that you can just get an idea of how this package works. Uh, then we will have you run downstream analysis on the real matrices and Surat objects from the paper. Uh, just to give you an idea of what the R Ranger of what the uh, Cell Ranger uh, SBatch script is going to look like, um, the one you will be editing looks pretty similar to this one here. Um, however, you're going to need to modify some of these parameters before you actually run it. <clears throat> Once Cell Ranger count has run, you'll actually see a new output output directory labeled by the ID argument in the sbatch script, which I have two output directories uh, shown here for two different uh, Down syndrome bone marrow samples. 
You will also see, um, and I should note that these output directories now have all of the output files from Cell Ranger count. Uh, if you were to CD into one of these, you would see a number of these files as well as this outs subdirectory, um, which is what actually contains um, our .h5 filtered count matrix, which we could now use, um, uh, which we could now analyze using the R software Surat.